Tonight, the chilling moments protest in Panama took a deadly turn captured on camera. Retired lawyer Kenneth Darlington getting out of his car to confront demonstrators blocking a major highway outside of Panama City, pointing his gun as he argued with the crowd, then moments later... The 77-year-old opening fire, killing two protesters. <laughs> Screams of terror ringing out as Panamanian police moved in to arrest Darlington, now charged with intentional homicide and possession and trafficking of a firearm. That roadblock set up by various groups, including school teachers, in support of nationwide protests that have spilled into the streets for weeks now. Demonstrators opposing a controversial mining contract given to a Canadian company that critics say will put Panama's environment and water supply at risk. This building contractor saying the contract should be renegotiated in favor of Panama and not in favor of a foreign company. That company, Canadian mining firm First Quantum Minerals, saying in a statement, First Quantum has always been an advocate of Panama and its people and is committed to the rule of law. And tonight, authorities revealing new details about the victims in the highway shooting, one of them a school teacher, the other a husband of an educator who was at the scene of the shooting. The prosecutor saying both victims were Panamanian citizens who were protesting peacefully. The shooting comes after local reports of another demonstrator hit by a car and killed during another roadblock protest. Now, as protests over the mining contract and this deadly encounter press on across Panama, a community and a country reckon with an unthinkable loss. Juan Venegas joins us tonight from Miami. Guad, as you said in the piece, this protest where the shooting took place is just one of several playing out over weeks now. How is the Panamanian government responding to these demonstrations? Tom, so the president has announced a referendum, so it'll be the voters who decide if the government moves forward with this contract. That vote is taking place December 17th. It will be binding, but some of these protesters continue to show opposition in the streets because they say they want the government to cancel the contract and not take it to a referendum. The government, of course, is thinking about what it's going to cost. This contract was going to guarantee the government $375 million a year. And of course, the mine itself is very important to the Panamanian economy. Tom. Okay. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.